most of the time y'all know i'm full of energy i love you know making the best of every day and i wasn't in that energy for these last weeks already <laughs> professionals here we have a professional they also have their own ice skating shoes and me and cheese rented this one and this is my first time y'all i hope y'all can hear me this is my first time and also cheese so wish me luck wish me luck i don't even know if i can walk to this and go there because i have to go there ciao wish me luck Okay y'all, so so I really want to turn on my camera and show y'all what I got. So it's been a few months that I was really, really looking forward to purchase this and I finally did. So I purchased my first ever Bible. It's in English, so, so it's not in Babimento. It has like everything in it. It's so aesthetically pleasing. And with my Bible, I also got these soft highlighters. They are especially made to highlight in your Bible so it doesn't go through the other um, side of the paper in your Bible, which is very good. And the colors are so earthy colors. Definitely my vibe. 
I love it. And also you can get the Bible in different type of colors. I got this one. I thought it was going to be like a cream beige color, but it's more like a soft mint green color. But I'm not mad at it because it's still the aesthetic that I'm going for. So totally love it. I'm going to dig in the Bible with y'all so y'all can get a view how it looks on the inside. You get different paintings, different sayings, Old Testament, New Testament, like everything. Here you can see that's the Old Testament. And here it's written, it was very good indeed. Genesis. I'm trying, let me put it like this. So maybe you can see. Here you get like a map. And the map tells you the story, how it happened in which area of the world everything happened, which is very good. It also gives you like many different weeks to read dip different um, Bible verses if you want to go deeper. Um, so it it's more to read and understand Exodus. So you can never go wrong with this Bible. This Bible is super goodly explained and it's beginner friendly. I'm so in love with my Bible. Y'all can imagine. <laughs> Y'all not can imagine, okay. And here, wow, wow. Look at this page, y'all. Look at this page. It says, a guide to teams in Proverbs. You have God, man, relationship, world, and world. How amazing is this? Proverbs, I think Proverbs is one of the most um, well-explained verses in the Bible that you can just dig deeper in and understand how you can connect deeper spiritually with God and also understand life in a better perspective. So I really recommend this Bible. It's really, really good. I'm already amazed by it. I saw it on TikTok and the reviews were amazing. And I was like, nah, I need to get one. And now that I have it in my hand, is the best purchase ever i swear oh my gosh look at this page look at this page isn't this cute like you just get the vibe you just open your bible and let's give a minute to god let's focus on his words his promises and everything and understand life i love it i really do recommend it i will put it in my description box below if you want to purchase the bible um remind you i'm just going to remind you again it's in english so yeah unfortunately they don't have it in papimento but i'm looking forward to one in papimento for sure but if you're hesitating you can still buy this one and get use the bible app in your own language so you can understand it better if it's not going to be a whole hassle and hassle for you but i think i will be using both but most definitely my own physical bible i love it i really love it and also with these highlighters it's going to be an amazing thing for sure so that's what i wanted to show y'all and also oh something unexpected happened i shared this on my instagram and also i shared this on my tiktok and i'm going to share it here so this bible was supposed to arrive on the 10th of march and today it's fourth so it arrived six days earlier and Recap, two days before today, I was on TikTok and I came across a lady on TikTok and she was saying, get ready, your package is arriving. Meaning the promises that God gave you, they are about to arrive at any due time right now. Be ready. So today I was just laying on my bed, chilling on TikTok and I re um, heard my doorbell ringing. When I was walking to the door, I was like... But I'm not expecting anybody nor any delivery. So what is this? When I opened the door and saw the delivery man with my package, I knew immediately that this was God reminding me, girl, get ready because your package is about to arrive soon and it's going to arrive earlier than you're expecting it. So get ready. This message may resonate with me and also it may resonate with you. I don't know. But if you think somebody else also need this message please share this with them because this gave me the chills today it was it was straight up god talking to me reminding me girl 
your package is about to arrive your promises are about to shift in your favor because i'm with you you've been um in alignment with yourself and me and i'm going to deliver so be ready and get ready because it's coming in open the door and receive your package okay so for today I'm just going to finish editing the vlog. I'm also going to film Detox with Coco. I'm a little bit sick, as you can hear by my voice. Um, but we're getting a little bit better. Yesterday, I went to... We, I did a content day with Christine, as you saw already. I didn't finish filming the vlog, but the food at Sopporo was amazing. The ramen, soup, noodle thing. It was really good. We ordered teriyaki, chicken ramen soup it was succulent it was really good i really love it and i'm totally going many more times there because the food is really good it's amazing so yeah i'm just going to add it today i don't think there's much that's going to happen today so we're going to see tomorrow and it's beginning to look a lot more like spring here in the netherlands the weather is way better <coughs> excuse me y'all <coughs> the weather is way better so that's a good sign so i think soon we're going to get out of the house often and do some fun activity so i'll talk to y'all later or tomorrow Good morning. Bon um, I'm trying to catch up on a vlog today, which is Monday, and this vlog has to be up tomorrow on Tuesday. To be honest, I didn't really vlog um, this whole week. It was since uh, last week, I guess. I vlogged a little bit when I went skiing with my friends. And also I showed y'all my new Bible that I got. I think I didn't feel much after that. Um, the reason because of this, also I didn't put um, post Deep Thoughts with Coco again the week that just ended. Um, 
the reason that i'm running behind with my shits and i'm really sorry but um two weeks ago i stated on my instagram that i'm not mentally steady i'm mentally drained but i didn't go deeper in it and i just want to focus a little bit on this because i know there is a lot of us that's going through this as in anxiety depression heartbreak healing whatever it is like there are so much things that put you put your energy so low and uh, we have the tendency to fake it especially being a vlogger and an influencer like me it's more difficult because i have to deal with the camera 27 let's say 27 24 7 in my face and try to fake it and i'm not the person that loves faking being myself on the camera because it doesn't go you know most of the time y'all know i'm full of energy i love you know making the best of every day and i wasn't in that energy for these last weeks already it's not that i'm depressed or dealing like with anxiety i de i'm dealing a little bit with some anxiety here and there but um i'm going to explain it a little bit more maybe then you can understand um it's not always about depression and anxiety and healing like there are so much things that we battle every day as human beings mentally physically emotionally whatever and you're not alone so in my case as you already know um i'm in a separation phase with my kingdom spouse um don't get me wrong i totally surrender and the situation already but um i also healed from the situation so i transformed in a whole new person but the thing that's pulling on me is the energy regarding my promises so when you're so close to getting your promises the devil is going to try to stomp in your yard and distract you from what's coming towards so he doesn't want to see you happy he doesn't want to see you in your purpose and god giving you his promises so he's trying to distract you and that's what's happening and he tried in so many ways and i still passed the test i didn't fall into his trap but the most heaviest thing for me is him pulling on my energy and it's a really strong pull that drains me out and makes me feel tired 24 7 which isn't getting me nowhere being there productively with my vlogs or making content or whatever i'm just laying like almost the whole day on my bed i don't want to cook only thing that is keeping me pushing forward is gym because i have a goal and i'm so motivated and trying to be disciplined and consistent with um, going to the gym to achieve the body goal that i want but i'm also not e eating as i should be eating it's not that i'm eating bad or nothing i'm still eating healthy but i'm not eating enough so you can imagine how strong the energy pulling is it's a whole lot of things energetically that i'm dealing with that's keeping me in this stagnant phase in this stagnant moment and it's a really hard hard battle and it's not easy i've been praying and praying for god to get me out of this zone and right now i committed to myself that I'm going to pray and talk to him every time that I feel like the devil is going to um, pull on me again and distract me from everything that he's preparing for me on the table in front of my enemies. And 
I pray only in the morning, but I right now I'm starting to pray before I go to sleep and also when I wake up in the morning and in between those days. In between the day that I, if I feel like no, I need to talk to you, then I'm going to stop everything that I'm go have to I'm doing at the moment and just talk to him and feel his presence with me so I can go about my day because that's the best way that I can go about my day and not let anything bother me. And um, especially yesterday at night, I, I was done with the whole thing and I recalled my power back. So I prayed, I prayed with my whole soul and called back my own power and put my feet on the ground and said, no, I'm not going to just let him drain me anymore. I'm not going to let the devil do its work. No, I'm going to stand in my ground and keep it pushing. If I have to <laughs> grab my weapons and fight against him, I'm gonna do it because I'm with God. And it's not going to break me. No, that's when I'm going to stand stronger and keep on fighting forward. Because you're not going to distract me from my blessings that are coming forward. So that's what I wanted to just update y'all on. I'm trying to, I'm trying, no, I'm going to try to vlog my day to day with y'all. Um... At one, I have classes. I only have one class today. I was supposed to start um, nine fifteen in the morning, but <clears throat> that class got canceled. And the second class, I don't have it because I have like a free pass for the class. Um, that is Spanish and. My Spanish is really good. <laughs> I only have to do exams in the last year. And um, the last class, of course, I have that. But that's the last class for today. So I'm just going to be at school just for a few minutes. A few minutes. And then most probably I will be heading back home. Um, I think I will be checking up with my sister what she's going to do today. Maybe we can check up on each other maybe i'm going to head to her house or maybe she's going to head here whatever it is um i'm not going to cook today because i already cooked yesterday for today so yeah i'm just going to try to bring bring her along on my day and whatever comes up we're going to make this vlog happen so yeah that was a little quick update on how i'm doing that's why also i didn't um record deep thoughts with coco because for me it's also a little bit more personal in the video that i wanted to post on deep thoughts with coco the so last week um i wanted to talk on the signs the obvious signs that you can catch up on so you know that you found the person so your person the, you found the one that god has for you but because it's a little bit more personal to me and I didn't feel emotionally stable, I wasn't able to pick up the camera and talk, you know? So, hopefully this week will be way better and then we can get back on track. I'm trying my best, y'all. Just cope with me. It's not easy, but we're going to get to the end of this. And... Uh, yeah so right now i'm just going to wake up no i'm just going to stay on my phone a little bit because somehow god is working hand in hand with me and my tiktok is filled with prophetic words messages from god or videos that inspired me to keep pushing forward and also believe keep walking in faith and have the patience that is going to serve and give me his promises so i feel called to just you know consume a little bit more of those words from him and also maybe take a little bit in my bible just for a bit and then i'm going to get up get in the bedroom and get ready for school 
um i don't know yet what i'm going to wear so we're going to search that together and try on i think like two outfits um to head to school i just wear super basic so it's not going to be a super difficult thing to um find an outfit for school and also going for one class i don't have to do much thing so yeah today the weather is also a little bit shitty it's a little bit mm, not nice we don't have the sun i don't know later if it's going to shine but mm, mm. spring is approaching but the netherlands weather is a total lie <laughs> so yeah first option is this jeans by only and um, with this dark blue turtleneck shirt very basic and the other option is this jogging and this body suit this gray jogging pants with this body suit either in this color or the purple one but i think i'm going for the jeans and turtleneck shirt because i just saw the um, weather app on my app um, weather app on my phone and it, today is a little bit more colder than the these past days so yeah so i think the boys is going to be feeling for this day so yeah i think i'm going for the jeans instead i really want to be comfortable in my joggings but if not then i will have to search for another shirt for this jogging maybe i can wear this jogging with the turtleneck i have it also in pink black green I don't know I don't recall if I have more colors I have white but that's a bodysuit and I don't want to wear white mm, ciao. I'm going to figure it out right now because time is running it's already 12 and I have to be at school at 1 and I still have to get my hair done so ciao. let's get it running all right so obviously we went for the jeans and the blue turtleneck safe choice for now I'm going to wear my sneakers right now. I also did my hair. Um, I'm going to wear my sneakers right now. And I think in about 5 to 10 minutes, I'm going to head, of, head out of house so I can grab the train and head to school. Later on also, my sister is going to come and also her friend. Um, probably I'm going to vlog that. We don't know yet what we're going to do, but we're going to make it fun because all three of us don't have nothing to do and obviously we are bored so we're going to make it a full-blown content productive 
day. So, yeah, successfully we have something to vlog. So, let's go. Nice, yellow red credit card swipes. I don't even know she a wife, but I do know one thing though. Women, they come, they go. Okay, though, as I told y'all, I'm going to meet up with my sister. Okay, the planning was for her and her friend to come at my house, but we ended in Leiden. Here they are. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> And there's my niece, she's sleeping. But we are waiting on the bus and we are heading to Zutermeer, so next destination. Because Leiden doesn't have so much stores that we can go shopping like we want. Like the stores are, there's not a bunch of options. And we also went to H&M and I'm a fan of H&M and they didn't have so much things to choose from. So we are heading to Zutermeer where we have more options and the centrum is bigger so um, we will meet y'all in Zutermeer Alright, so we are in Zutermeer in Primark Here we are Here, yes, she's waving there <laughs> We are in Primark um, Still didn't find nothing yet for myself but we just entered so yeah, I usually just look for simple things here in Primark and oversized shirts in the um, men's section. So we're still in the women's section. So probably I'll get something in the men's section. So we will see what we're going to get. Look at this set, y'all. This Juicy Couture set. I love it super cute to look at the ass look at the bling on the ass Purr. i love it and the feet is wide so cute they also have it in black so i don't know which one i'm going to get look at this it's not a sundress because it's a short but it's a short dress so cute oh my god it's like ready to serve this mommy mommy for the summer perm as a papi loco loco i love it by the way this is from new yorker don't come buy it because i have to buy it first okay cute right so guys that was that was it we're going to close the vlog right here i guess we don't Bye. know yet but we're going to eat what? <laughs> <laughs> Saturday through Sunday, Monday, Monday through Sunday, yo. Baby, I love you one day. Maybe we'll someday grow. Till then, I sit my trunk ass on that runway. On